Um, it's has been a difficult way for qualifying to end, but was there any more that you could have taken out there when the red flag came out? Well, ideally one spot, uh, but yeah, let's not be too greedy. I had a difficult start, to be honest, with qualifying. Didn't really feel the car and struggled a bit uh, to find the right balance. And then uh, I think, yeah, that with the second run on the medium tyres, so the first run in Q3, I felt a lot happier and could finish the lap, um, was quite quite happy with it. So uh, obviously it was a big improvement from the lap I did in Q2, about six tenths, which is quite big. So uh, yeah, the car did come alive and uh, I was hoping you know, to keep on going that way. Uh, another six tenths would have been brilliant, but I'm sure you know, that was not in reach, uh, but still possibly P3 was, possible, uh, was, was there. Nevertheless, you know, Valtteri is on another run and maybe he can improve as well. So um, difficult to predict. In the end, uh, I think we can be reasonably happy with the result and it puts us in a good place for, for tomorrow. Yeah, in terms of tomorrow, because yesterday was such a washout, do you guys actually know where you are in comparison to Williams or Red Bull? No, I don't think anyone really knows because the, limit, the running was very limited, so uh, it's impossible to predict. Uh, the weather could be a challenge as well tomorrow. I looked the forecast last night on TV but didn't get a word, so uh, that didn't help. Um, yeah, I guess uh, it could be anything around here. The sea is very close, so uh, nevertheless, we have to be alert. I think our main competitors tomorrow, if you're realistic, is uh, our Williams and uh, Red Bull. Uh, Mercedes seems, uh, unfortunately, a little bit too quick today, but who knows tomorrow. Yeah, it's amazing what difference seven days makes, doesn't it, to Mercedes not speed? Even, not even seven days, yeah, so uh, I don't know what they were doing. Uh, maybe you should ask them. Thank you. <laughs>